Today, we went on the bus to go and get some fishing gear. for a bus but the Guernsey bus map isn't the greatest so we don't really know if it's coming or not. Hopefully it is. Oh, <laughs> Ollie, I don't know when the bus is coming. It says worried. bus on the road though. It says bus on the road. The only... Let's just hope that the bus comes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> just had lunch. This morning dad and I got the number 32 bus to go to Mick's fishing tackle shop which is just by Aladdin's cave. It's a bit like a sort of wholesale store but we went and bought a fishing rod and some tackle and some weights so hopefully fingers crossed we'll be able to do some fishing soon. But at Mick's fishing tackle shop we were uh, basically told everything we need to know by Frank. Um, didn't want to be filmed but it was a really helpful experience being able to learn everything that we need to know about fishing so that was good. So it's when Wednesday, yesterday and the day before we didn't really do much but today we're going to motor over to Sark to spend the day there and there tomorrow we'll go to Oldney. And he's all ready to go. Excited. Before we went to Sark, we filled up with fuel at the Boatworks fuel pontoon. So it's slightly drizzly, so I've got to be quick with my camera. But behind us is Sark, the rock next to Sark. Just there is called Letak. It looks a lot like the Great Mew Stone that we used to seeing every time we go sailing in Plymouth. But yeah, we're just coming around Sark, and Dad's just put the sails up. We've got engine off and some nice music. There was a pot just there, Dad, on the bow. Ernie. Okay. Pretty happy. How are you doing, Mum? Yeah, good. Thanks. Just trying to work out my secondary port calculations. Tidal stuff. Yeah. So now we're just motoring into Derrible Bay where we'll be anchoring around Sark and hopefully we'll get the dinghy out and possibly do a bit of fishing as well. Avoiding rocks because there's quite a few rocks around but luckily we've got our chart plotter on which is helping us out a bit. So we're now in Dick's Cart Bay, we're all anchored and I've just put a snubber on. Very relaxing, we're going to have lunch in a minute, we're going to inflate the dinghy. Sit rep, we have a wasp. Sit rep, we have killed the wasp. Ooh, where are we? We've arrived.
Never could anyone who simply lives to die. So we're now ashore on the Sark and he's got the zoomies, he just wants to run and run and run so we'll take him for a nice walk but it's really beautiful up here. What blackberries? We're going to go up to the headland now It'll give us a really nice view and should look really good on camera. You will see us on the headland waving. Over. Never could anyone who simply We've just got up to the headland, pretty much to the end. We didn't go all the way over because we don't want to be in a dangerous situation. Plus dad's not keen on heights, so but we've just radioed over to mum. With that excellent radio signal up here, and we waved to her. As we found out when we got on the island, Sark has no cars, only tractors, bikes, and horses. currently on this great big rock. We're about to go in the dinghy in a minute. Dad and Ernie are having a quick swim and Ernie's running around the beach. Like... Good morning, we're currently sailing out of Sark and just avoiding a few rocks as you can see behind me. The sun is very bright, looks like good weather today. Dad's just doing a route on the chart plotter and Mum's just writing down the weather forecast. Now we can see Alderney. We're going at about seven. No, eight and a half knots. We're going at eight and a half knots, oh. but three knots have tied with us. Nine point one knots. Nine knots. <laughs> this is the fastest we've ever been on navy blue ever. We're just coming up to Alderney now. Probably be mooring in about fifteen to thirty minutes. on Alderney having a wander around and I'm filming on the gimbal and he's having a lovely walk so we're currently heading to the Georgian uh, the Georgian house which is a pub that dad and I went to when we did our first channel crossing which was actually the very first video that we made on this channel
Although later on we explored the other side of Alderney, we came to the same pub called the Georgian, where we came last time and I had the exact same drink, took the exact same selfie, but here is some footage from the video from 2018, where we came here last. So we're currently heading to Saline Bay Beach, which should be really nice. Saline Bay is also a bay on Guernsey, and we went to Saline Bay because that's where Grand Rock Beach is, so sort of repeating our history here. This beach has a really steep shelf to the beach. I'm literally already knee height and it's only like one metre in. It's not that nice here, I'll be honest. So the main reason why only dogs are allowed on this well, why the reason why dogs are allowed on this beach and not other ones is because it's a huge Before we got the water taxi back, we had fish and chips at a local chippy. The next morning it was time to cross the channel again, this time heading to Portland. We're currently about halfway across the channel now, heading to Portland, um, and we're close hauled. I'm not sure what the time is, but it'll be here. So behind me you can just see Portland on the horizon and he's looking very excited to go for a pee finally. Like three watermelons. <laughs> to a beer. Beer moment. Absolutely yeah. can't oh. wait. That's a bit much for our family friendly YouTube channel here. When we got into the marina we had a nice meal at the boat that rocks, the restaurant in the marina. So we're now in Portland Marina. We've just gone out to have some dinner and now we're gonna go to sleep. Very tired. Can't wait for a nice big long sleep. The next morning we went out to explore Portland, but sadly we didn't get to Portland Bill as we were expecting. Look, see you later. 
back to the Sahara Desert. Worth thinking of walking any here, but it's a bit rough. Instead of trying to find another beach, we followed the coast path of disappointment. <laughs> The Olympic ring sculpture was created to celebrate the sailing events that were hosted by Portland and Weymouth during the 2012 Olympic Games. Thanks for watching part two of the Channel Crossing video. If you want to see us go from Portland to Dartmouth and then Dartmouth to Sulcombe and then eventually to Plymouth, then click this video here.